We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's good for him. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. And they get nice yardage on that run. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. He flings it. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Second and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Complete, he's out of bounds. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. And now he's got room to run. Taken down at the six. He lost the ball. Scoops up the loose ball. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Got it, son. 43 in the mic. Down. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own six. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle around the ten-yard line. Number 11 in on the tackle at the ten-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Complete, brought down, nothing to it. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And down he goes at the 49. Last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. They'll knock him down for a loss. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Hey, watch 
At the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. He fights forward to about the 40. Gain of one yard. Tight. Tight. That brings up second and nine. Watch Mike, watch Mike. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Nice run there. Four with the carry. They'll call on the field goal unit. North Carolina State is looking to go up by three. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. to that quick look. A five-yard gain. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at the 44. Right side, got his tail back. They'll bring him down at the 45 yard line. First down. He's on the run. Gains his way to the 30 yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. is it to the middle of the field. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. It's our time. 43 in the mic. Pulls in the pass and steps out. Gets to about the 11-yard line. it to the nine. Out to the tailback, and he dropped it. Oh, well, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 3-0, North Carolina State. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Iowa State is looking to tie things up. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. 
He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. The halfback with a carry. He makes his way out to about the 35. They'll drop him for a loss. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 32. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Ready! Red 68! He's got the corner. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Booming kick. Brought down at the 25-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. There's the strike complete. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. That reception good for around four yards. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Fires out to his receiver. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they make the stop around the 50-yard line. That's a team of 17 on the play. That makes it first and 10. 43 in the mic. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They still playing soccer. Tackled for a loss. That was a loss of That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 45. Three down. And he just gets rid of it. Brought down the 39 yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it seven and six. He gets to about the 24 yard line. Gains his way to the 16 yard line. Call the game of eight yards. That will bring up second and three. Check, check, let's go, Raver! And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Well, he's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Catch 
catches it and hit immediately for a loss. They lose four there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Iowa State could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 6-3, Iowa State. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Down! Down! Blue 42! They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Run the middle and nothing there. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. From their own 24-yard line, third down. Tipped away. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. That brings up fourth and 11. It's away and it's a booming punt. He's tackled at the 35. The Cyclones get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis, and yet they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback, we'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. That'll bring up second and 11. Iowa State is up by three. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. It's second and five here. Ball on the 36. And that one's incomplete. That's just a shame. The receiver did his job. He's able to get a step on the defender, but the ball was underthrown. They come out in an empty backfield. And he shoved out of bounds around the 32-yard line. And he's tackled in the open field. Number six brings him down at the 25-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Check, check, check. Throws a laser across the middle. Tackle made right around the 12 yard line. Iowa State is up a field goal. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Tenth play of the drive. Now they run it left in a nice tackle right there. Check 
Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. He hits the PAT. It was an 11 play, 65 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So the score now 13 3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punch. Tackled after positive yardage. That's a team of four. That makes it second and six. We've played a half. Iowa State in front, 13-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these offenses have proven to be capable of making explosive plays, and really we expected to see a lot of that in this game. Haven't seen it so far. You know, David, that, this game reminds me a lot of the 2012 Stanford-Oregon game when the Stanford defense did such a great job of limiting Oregon's big plays. Yeah, and Oregon's an offense that thrives on the big plays, and you see them go the length of the field all the time, and how fast? I mean, just a blink of an eye, you can see it, but what about when you make them execute on third down? What about when you make them execute on third and short? And then you put them in field goal position or field goal range, and you make them decide whether they want to kick a field goal on fourth and short because they don't really feel comfortable getting it. When you make an offense go the length of the field and execute, th that's when turnovers happen. You, you need somebody to slip up and make one mistake. If they put 12, 13, 14 plays together as opposed to four or five, the likelihood of that mistake coming very much swings in favor of you. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Tackle around the 38-yard line. That's good for the game at 18 yards. First down. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. Call it a game of 16 yards. First down. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Check three. Check three. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 41. That brings him second and five. Quick out to his receiver. Very good tackle in space. That makes it first and ten. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Makes it out to about the twenty. First down. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. That brings up second and nine. Hit him, 
It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run to the outside. Makes the tackle. Gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Iowa State. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Iowa State's a type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Going long. Swatted away. He was able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. Second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 25. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. That brings up third and 14. Delivers to that back on the screen. And they'll get him in the backfield. That brings us to 15. guys miss on his way to a quality return and we see this offense again after what you Kirk called a very physical touchdown drive well I say that Brad because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game and it helped them get the score let's see if they can do it again he's taken down around the 39 yard line Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 39. Four down, four down. 43 is the mark. Go. 794. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number 18. Man left, man left. That brings us third and 12. Two down, two down. 43 is the mic. At two and eight. Go. Go. This one's broken up. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 21. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Two times, two times. middle of the tight end. And they'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Motion, motion, motion. 
And down he goes at about the 41. Makes it out to about the 49. They'll get him for a loss. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Five wide. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 30. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense. But the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. He scrambled. They bring the quarterback down. That is a loss of one yard on the way. That'll bring up second and 11. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Quick throw out to the receiver. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. They're in the red zone after coughing up the ball on their last trip down here. And he just gets rid of it. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Brought down at the six. Loss of two. That makes it third and goal. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. My 52. And they got him. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. It's up, and the field goal is good. North Carolina State kicked this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Gets hit out of bounds at the 33. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So with one quarter remaining, the Cyclones in front, 20 to six. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He has some room. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gaining five on the play. First down. Come on. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. 
That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. He fights forward to about the 43. It looked like he might pick up a head of steam and get the first, but the defense collapsed on him before he could get there. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. And they'll lose a yard there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That'll bring up 32. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. My 52, my 52. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Gets it out quickly, and he hits him hard at the 43. In the shotgun and five wideouts. at the 44. Less than three minutes in the game. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. out of bounds around the 36 yard line tackled after decent pickup Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Number two was the intended receiver. This is the tenth play of this drive. Run inside. Stop quickly. No big on the play. That brings us third and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's got it with room to run, and he's taken down at the 21-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. 
I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a play. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Gives it to the back. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Makes it out to about the 39. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. He makes his way to about the 48. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets out to around the 38. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 20 to 6, Iowa State. And the North Carolina State Wolfpack. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nestler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.